Welcome to topic 1 of the IGCSE AdMats. We are going to be dealing with quadratics. Uh, when I refer to this topic as quadratics, I am going to be able to talk about quadratic equations, quadratic expressions, and quadratic functions and I first before we move on and any further we want to talk about uh, the differences between these terms quadratic equations quadratic expressions and quadratic functions I have given you a few examples of quadratic equations quadratic equations you will notice or whether it's quadratic expressions or quadratic functions you will see x raised to the power of 2. So quadratic means that the highest power of x that you will see will be 2. So whether we are dealing with equations, expressions or functions, the highest power of x you will see is 2. Let's look at quadratic equations. We will have x squared plus 5x minus 6 equals to 0. So when you see equations, you will see equal to zero. Either you will see things like equal to zero, like the next one, or you will see uh, things like 5x squared equals to 15, where you can rewrite this 5x squared minus 15 equals to zero. Now, the examiner can write the quadratic equation uh, any way he likes but remember if he gives you something like this 5x squared plus 7 equals to 8x we can reduce this to 5x squared minus 8x plus 7 equals to 0 remember quadratic equations we can express it as something equals to 0 now if you have 5x squared plus 5x minus 15 equals to 0 for a quadratic equation you can divide the whole thing by 5. So you are left with x squared plus x minus 3 equals to 0. Okay? Quadratic equations you can divide by any number that you like that will help you to solve the equation. Now if you look at quadratic expressions, there is no equals to 0. So it's just 2x squared. Remember I told you the highest power of x is always 2. So 2x squared plus 7x plus 2. This is an example of a quadratic expression we have 3x squared minus 8 another quadratic expression with just two terms 3x squared and negative 8 and then we have another similar quadratic expression 1 minus 4x minus x squared the important thing is please be careful uh, quadratic expressions you will not find any equal to and uh, the highest power of x will remain as 2 now let's move on to quadratic functions Quadratic functions, you will see things like y equals to 2x squared plus 8x plus 1. Or you might see this written as f of x. Okay? So uh, whether you see it as y equals to 2x squared plus 8x plus 1, or whether you see that f of x equals to 2x squared plus 8x plus 1, not to worry, they all mean the same thing. They all refer to a quadratic function. So I've written a few examples here. f of x equals to x squared plus 3x minus 4. The important thing for you to recognize is um, these are all functions. Yeah? So uh, we have a function like x squared minus 1. Uh, we have y equals to 1 minus 3x minus 4x squared. Now we come to a very important point. If I give you y equals to 5x squared plus 5x minus 15, please remember you cannot divide the whole thing by 5 and make it something sim simpler okay I'll repeat if you have 5x squared for instance 5x squared plus 5x minus 15 you cannot divide this by 5 and make it simpler equations yes functions no okay so let's make some formal definitions about equations uh, expressions and so on so a quadratic equation will be of this form ax squared plus bx plus c this is called the general form okay 
this is called the general form of the quadratic equation and uh, let me rewrite that let me rewrite that this is called the general form of the quadratic equation remember a is not equals to zero the quadratic function will be y equals to ax squared plus bx plus c or like I said earlier uh, it'll be something like f of x equals to ax squared plus bx plus c quadratic expression remember there's no y there's no equal to zero nothing is just plain ax squared plus bx plus c like you see here okay uh, please remember that if a equals to zero then all the above whether it is equations functions or expressions they all reduce to their linear equivalence okay linear equivalent example if you know if you have 3x squared uh, minus uh, 2x minus 1 equals to 0 uh, and if a is 0 this disappears so you're only left with minus 2x minus 1 equal to 0 this is a linear equation okay so that's what I mean by if a equal to 0 then all the above reduce to their linear equivalence let's continue and I'm going to show you something very important uh, both for now and for later on when you go to college we are going to be dealing with something called completing the squares I'm going to show you how to complete the squares and this is specific for quadratics whether it is a quadratic whether it's for a quadratic equation or whether it's for a quadratic function or whether it's for a quadratic expression we will be very frequently be asked to complete the squares I'll repeat it's a very important section you need to learn how to do it I'm going to use a couple of examples to show you how to complete the squares so remember quadratics are of this form ax squared plus bx plus c we know that already it's just a matter of whether it's equal to zero uh, for an equation equal to y when it's a function and if it's just plain ax squared plus bx plus c if it's an expression so to learn how to complete the squares I am going to look at a couple of cases so case one is where a equals to one okay a equals to one so if I give you an expression x squared plus 2x plus 8 uh, remember here a equals to one okay now we are asked to write in completed squares form in completed squares form uh, it's something that you see very regularly in our exams as part of a question as the main question itself I don't think they will ask you but it'll be part of a question okay so if you have x squared plus 2x plus 8 yeah this is the expression a few steps uh, step 1 take the coefficient of x yeah? the coefficient of x is plus 2 and what do you do you half it okay you okay you half it that means you divide it by 2 it becomes a plus 1 you take this plus 1 you place it in brackets okay you place it in brackets and you square it and take a deep breath okay so as I'll repeat the first step is take the coefficient of x which is plus 2 in this case divide it by 2 that means half it and uh, you place it in brackets and you square it then we have to go to the second step now in the second step if you look carefully you always I repeat you always take away the square of the number that you placed in brackets a second ago okay the square of that number is 1 so you always take away that number so I've done that here for you okay uh, that's the second step very easy to follow and we have one more step and that step involves writing down the last number in the expression that was given to us which was plus 8 and you will see that I've written it here so second step third step bring that plus 8 down clean up the numbers yeah? so I have x plus 1 squared minus 1 plus 8 is plus 7 and we are done that's it yeah so that's uh, completing the squares it's quite easy to do uh, just uh, be careful about you know when you 
uh, do some algebra and be careful about the numbers and when you have some numbers